Hello, hello, Chosen BC here, and I'd like to welcome you all back to the next episode of Reloaded SMP, Season 3. I want to let you all know that I do appreciate you returning, and hope you look forward to whatever adventure and or mischief we get into in this next episode. So, without any further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, so, we're going to start here, folks. Came in to see this today. Right, all of this. This is on this floor and on the second floor, but this was here, which is pretty cool. I will give them that. I like it. It uh, definitely is a lot of work, and I do appreciate the, the effort that was put into this prank. It's pretty awesome, I have to admit. So to whomever did the prank, cheers, my friend. Cheers. It's a really good prank. But unfortunately, I do want to build in here, and uh, one of the things I want to do is work on doing a uh, storage system, and it's severely and sorely needed. So I'm thinking it's going to go in here because this is the biggest area I have. So unfortunately, this stuff all has to get torn down, and I did start tearing down some, you know, of this stuff, right? So uh, I'm going to get to that, tearing down this. The spider may stay. We'll see about that, but... Uh, for now, um, I'm going to get down to tearing this stuff out. And then once I have an idea of what we want to do for a storage system, um, we're going to work on that. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, folks, so uh, we spent a little bit of time doing a bit of building on the system here. It's not what we'd really want for a storage system, but uh, I got like one small section over here done. So we have uh, basically Impulse SV's system uh, with a little bit of change. I've used pumpkins to try to help with lighting updates. That should reduce some of the lag from that, a little bit anyways. Um, and I haven't really sorted everything yet, so I only have filters in pretty much everything. But then these two I stuck birch logs and dark oak logs. Um, I've also made a dropper system here that if I did it right, then I should be able to put any, like, a chest or, like, just dump stuff inside a chest here or put even a shulker box here. It should empty, cycle through the system here, go in here, and then uh, they should all go where they're supposed to go. Now, I grabbed two boxes that are really cheap and easy, like they are full of exactly what's in the system. I just don't want to break the system yet. So we're gonna try some very basic stuff first, because like I said, I don't, I don't really want to break this. So we're gonna stick that in there, right? Uh, we should see that emptying, right? And we should see this, if I have it right. I don't know if I do. So it's going in here. It's heading into here. The problem is it's not... Um, I think I might have this part wrong. Do, do I have it wrong? I might have it wrong. Maybe. Possibly. Or I might be missing that. Ooh, yeah, that repeater right there is causing a problem. Can I, can I do that? Unfortunately, it's pulsing this. I mean, it might be technically right because it's pushing it all the way up there, right? And then it's coming into here and then it's dropping into here, which is bringing it down to here. Now, the only thing I could do to really test that would be to like throw this in here and see if it's still doing that, right? Because what it should do 
is if this is done correctly, we should see that pulse to that one. Yeah, okay. And then once in a while when it has the cur the other item, it should go to this one. Perfect. So it is doing it. Um, awesome. I mean, it'll definitely, it's not quick. It's not super fast, right? But it will do what we need it to do as quickly as we can get it to do it. So it is, and it's silent, so it's not like super loud and obnoxious or anything. And it'll do what we need it to do. So like I said, it's going to be slow, but at least we can put stuff in here. So now we just need to figure out what else we want in here. So right now I'm doing wood. So we got dark, we got um, birch logs. We could do mangrove over here. I'm thinking, because those are the main, main ones that we're using at this point. So, uh, let's grab some mangrove uh, wood, which I want to say I have some here. It's not a lot, but it should give us at least a starting point, right? So, let's go ahead and grab this. Let's go to the third one, and let's filter that. Right, and then since I stuck in what 57, there should be what 15, 16 in here. 15, yeah. I mean, unfortunately, I can't stick multiple items in there, but I can always do that manually if I absolutely need to. Um, but at least this gives me a starting point. It's only one item per thing, but this is the stuff that I'm using a lot of right now. So that's the reason I'm thinking like this is the stuff that makes sense to me to throw in there. I'm going to do the re stop the recording for now. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Um, I think we're going to do something, one more special thing before we end uh, the episode. Um, we'll come back to this, you know, once I'm done. So see you in a few seconds, guys. Okay, so um, as you can see, um, I have moved a couple feet since the last time I was in here, um, but uh, we got uh, at least one side of the sorting system done. I have some shulkers unloading and stuff over there, um, and we are going to go and do something very special for a very special person in uh, homage and in remembrance. Um, so... Uh, some of you have probably watched Hermitcraft or the Hermitcraft series or the people or the folks on Hermitcraft, if you're watching my series. Um, but in my particular case, um, you know, and I don't know this person, but it, I'm sure as you're aware if you have. And if you're not, then you're, I'm going to let you know now. TFC, also known as Tinfoil Chef, passed away a little bit more than a week ago. Um, and I really did want to get something... Um, done for him um, I really wanted to do something in my last video and I didn't get a chance to do that so in lieu of that we are going to go and do a one hour mining session uh, strip not strip but uh, branch mining the thing he loved the most honestly he loved branch mining it was one of the things he did as as a hermit it was like I would say it's probably one of his favorite things to do and I want to pay homage to that so um, I'm going to bring a couple um, white candles. Um, I don't know if I have any copper. Is it four? What, what is it? Is it two? Okay, it's six, right? <laughs> I can count, apparently. Um, and I'm going to make these as, like, candle holders. Um, and we're going to use those uh, as a stand and a uh, time of silence for TFC once we're done the mining session. Um, I honestly have no need to go do this mining session. So if you're sort of um, feeling like I'm doing this for the views, I'm not. I honestly appreciate a TFC. Um, 
Yes, he's he was quite a bit older than I am by about a third of my age, um, which really isn't that much compared to some of you who've probably watched uh, Hermitcraft or or even my own series. And I'm I'm probably only maybe double your age, so you're maybe like a third of my age or half my age. Um, but it's just something that I really wanted to do uh, specifically for him because he was such a great guy, um, awesome hermit, and I, I do appreciate, um, you know, his candor and the person he was as a hermit on the server. Um, so I figured the best thing we could possibly do for him would be to go and do some branch mining and um i figured we'll do an hour of that today and we'll probably just do like a uh, third person time lapse of that i don't need it to be something that's going to get me views i'm doing it because i honestly want to honor tfc the hermits definitely know him better than we do um and i would say he would even say that he would never wanted anything, any big fanfare or anything. I just want to get to the location we're going to go to. And we're just going to get down to, you know, typical diamond-ish level, right? Um, and we're going to do some, you know, normal mining. Because, again, I think that's something he would really approve of and really appreciate. And, um... Yeah. So, uh, guys, I'm going to get us down to that level, and then I will be back. Um, I think probably when we're done or when we're about to go into a, just a remembrance or a word of silence. So, um, I will see you once we're down to the location. We'll start up the, uh, you know, the whole thing, and then we'll go from there. So, again, thank you so much, folks. I do appreciate it, and uh, do stick around at least... At least the CTFC's um, memorandum, like to to give him some remembrance. I'm not gonna throw up any of his videos. That's all his stuff. Um, but I I definitely want I want us to be able to share that moment um, in solstice in, in solace with him, uh, or for for his family and for the loss. So um, yeah, we'll we'll be down there in a few moments, and then uh, we'll be back. We've reached the bottom of the tunnel, so I know you can't really see it there, but it goes all the way back up there. I'll probably get some mob spawning because I didn't put enough torches, but that's okay. I really don't mind. Um, but we dug our path all the way out here and all the way out here. We're going to do the two by two, and then we're going to do branches off to the sides. And uh, we're going to start doing this uh, as of meow. So let me do a quick little... Um, timer set up, right? So I'm going to go set a timer for one hour. And we're going to start that now. Okay, folks, so we finished our hour-long uh, branch mining, again, in memory of TFC, um, one of the most chill, real hermits that was on Hermitcraft. Um, I want to say a big thank you to him. I know he probably can't hear me wherever he is, um, but if he can, great, and I want to say thank you. Uh, I want to say a thank you to his family. I want to wish them well. Um... I hope they're able to grieve, to reconcile what's going on, and that they're able to um, celebrate. And that's the way I'm going to put it, celebrate the life of TFC. So without any further ado, I want to show you here what we got. We got, um, let me move all the resources up here since I really did not do a very good job organizing the resources, right? 
There we go. So we got all of that for resources while we were in there, which isn't too bad. That's that's pretty reasonable um, while we were digging. So, and of course, again, this is all ore. So except for these few actual raw pieces, um, but that's what we got. And so um, I want to again pay homage to an amazing, amazing hermit. Um, and so we are going to go ahead and pop down those. And I need my ender chest, if it'll open. Pretty sure I have shears in one of these. Bear with me. I know I have one, so if not, I feel absolutely horrible because I'm pretty, pretty uh, I have them sitting right here. They're, they're right inside my inventory. So um, let's go ahead. We're just going to give a good, um, as you can see, there's, a, there's a, a timer at the bottom of the screen, right? So when that hits 1730, I'm going to light the camera uh, candles and we are going to go silent for 30 full Minecraft seconds um, in memorandum of TFC. Rest well, my friend. Rest well. And so, folks, that is also where we're going to leave it for this evening. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate that you are here. Uh, I appreciate you returning for another episode of Reloaded SMP Season 3. I want to let you know that not only do I appreciate you returning, but also that we're going to take a couple weeks break from putting out videos one may come out but i'm not going to guarantee it at least two weeks i'm just going to take some time off from doing videos i really need to recharge my own personal batteries um, i may still i'm probably still going to be streaming so feel free to come over and uh you know hang out with us on the stream um but uh and i might do some recording but i'm not going to be doing any editing and actually putting out any videos so again Thank you all for joining me. If you like the content that I am producing, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, remember to hit the bell icon to get notifications for when the next episode drops. Thank you so much. And remember to stay positive, even in these crazy times. And remember to take care of yourself as well as the others around you. And remember to give them a hug and love on them because we never know when our time has come, when we are due to leave this earth. So, not to be on a somber note, but make sure you love on your family and your friends and your pets. Because, yeah, you want them to know that they're loved. So, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week, weekend, night, whatever it may be when you're watching this. And we will definitely see you next time. Take care and have a good one.